Here we offer a summary of one of the exceptions to the hearsay rule. This one is the excited utterance exception found in Federal Rule of Evidence 803 subsection 2. Please recall that hearsay means a statement that is not made while testifying at the current trial or hearing, and it is offered into evidence to prove the truth of the matter asserted in the statement. A statement is what a person said or wrote, but also includes nonverbal conduct, if the person intended the conduct to be an assertion. The general rule is that hearsay statements are not admissible in court. One exception is the rule regarding a statement that is referred to as an excited utterance. An excited utterance is a statement relating to a startling event or condition made while the declarant was under the stress of excitement that it caused. When considering whether this exception applies, the court will ask was the person making the statement still dominated by the emotions, excitement, fear, or pain of the event or condition at the time the statement was made. Some of the relevant factors to be considered are the length of time between the event and the statement that was made, the nature of the declarant, whether a victim being beaten or assaulted, for example, whether the statement was made in response to a question, and whether the statement was self-serving at the time that it was made rather than something said in response to a shocking situation. One example is the case of Brizina v. State in which an assault victim exclaimed, you're killing me. And the perpetrator allegedly responded, I know, I know. Once the court is satisfied the exception applies, the statement will usually be admitted into evidence. The Girard's law firm helps the families of those severely injured or killed by reckless conduct of others. Call 214-346-9529 for a free consultation.